Right, let's do this. So, um, Ultima Chef. Um, it's um, it's a game about um, a robot who has hired me to run a kitchen of robots. Sort of build a kitchen of robots. That sounds a bit more like it. Um, it's red hot again in the UK. I'm, I've got my fan on. So hopefully that's not being picked up by the mic. But we'll see. Um, we've got deliver 30 meals, keep electricity uh, under 1800, use fewer than 125 ingredients. Um, ah, so, okay. Okay, so I did the demo of this, so I presume. I presume that it's picked up the fact that I've done the demo and it's. Um, Oh, no, 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 it's still doing tutorial. All right, go on, well, that's fine. Yeah, he thinks he's a human, or he's trying to make me think that he's a human, see? Now, this is, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, what it does is it tells you to come up with a, um... A recipe for burgers. So, basically, we need to assemble the burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Assemble burgers... It's telling me where to build it. Select the plain burger. So that tells that what to build. But we need to get the actual ingredients to it. So let's have a look at what we need. We need a burger bun and a raw patty. Okay. So that's easy enough. So a couple of dispensers. It's saying do them there. So this one, it's saying let's do that as a burger bun. Okay, and we do this one as a raw patty. Okay, now the raw patty needs to be grilled, doesn't it? So we're going to pop that in there. Doesn't matter which way around it goes. So we need a conveyor belt to get stuff to and from things. So we're going to pop one there. And three like that. And it can't feed directly into a grill, so we need an arm. So the arm picks up everything that comes along. And it does that, and it does that. So it picks up anything that comes along there, and anything finished from there. We also need a smart one. Because if we put a, a normal one in there, it would just pick everything up, even if they're not cooked. So we want one that says, only picked up. Um, cooked patties okay and that's your simple um, that's your simple process for making your burger there we go patty and a bun so you can see the patty's getting cooked so when it's cooked the other arm takes it the assembler then kicks in and assembles the burger and out goes the finished order. It's easy enough, isn't it? Cool beans. Um, do I need to move my picture? I think I might need to just move the picture. Can we uh, can we edit this, please? Just bear with me. I'm going to move me down here, maybe. Do I need to move myself there? Um, I'm thinking maybe that's a good spot. Let's try that. We'll see where we go from there. Um, right, good. So this is about making them more efficient. So, um, again, right, we have to go up here. Um, order reader tutorial. So this will only send burgers when we get an order. So we've already got a, a process line here. Need it to make cheeseburgers. Let's have a look at the recipe for a cheeseburger. So it's the same as a burger bun, but we just add cheese, which needs to be sliced. Okay. Do 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 
So the dispenser it's saying pop one in there. Uh, we now need to uh, dispense cheese from here. Cheese, raw cheese. And then we need to make it into um, a cheese slice using the processor. And that's that. Basically, it will go straight in onto that and then onto that. And then the robot arm picks anything up that, um, that comes its way. Um, so we want this now to be cheeseburgers. Okay, let's go. It's as easy as that. So the game gets a bit more difficult in that you need to work to a certain uh, level of energy used, uh, keep the ingredients down, that sort of thing. So you'll be switching machines on and off when there's no orders. Um, you'll get um, various processing using the same items. So uh, uh, as we've got cheese and burger buns using the same conveyors here, you might be cooking hot dogs and um, burgers on one grill, that sort of thing. So you can see how it ramps up. And the kitchens are quite small as well. Or certainly the ones that I've seen in the demo are quite small. The, um, there is a demo for this game on Steam. Go and get it from Steam on the demo. Go and play the demo and then see if you like the game. If you like the game, it's dead cheap. It's under 10 quid. I think it's out today or... Yeah, I think it's out today. It's, it's ten pound, under 10 pounds. We're just waiting until five dishes have been done. It's almost there. That's that. Cool beans. So he doesn't like the misuse of electricity. Ingredients constantly being dispensed. And he, it's always on. So we need to sort this out. He, do, he doesn't like the waste of energy. So this is um, an order reader. So basically, um, we're going to say whenever somebody orders a cheeseburger, um, we can connect it to various machines uh, perform action one time so every time there's a, a new order do it once I'm gonna do the same with this so do it one time one time okay we're gonna do it to this as well do it one time Okay, uh, and we're going to do the grill as well. Okay, you can do four machines on each of the order readers. Um, on while order is pending. Okay, so when there's no orders in, the machines aren't working. They're not dispensing. Uh, the grill's switched off, and then when an order comes in, everything switches on. Thus saving the energy. The, uh, the actual order reader uses a little bit of energy. And there are some machines still switched on, like these conveyors. But you can switch, you can put those onto order readers as well. I'm playing with my fan. I've got a fan on. It's red hot. Not the fan. The fan's lovely and cool. I'm red hot. I've had a little walk, which may be warm because it's really hot outside. And then I've had a bath, sort of, uh, you know, make me clean, um, which is why my hair's still wet. There we go. That's easy enough, isn't it? We just wait until these carry on. I think we can actually, yeah, we can speed it up with that. Uh, we've got Darjeeling tea today in the spotty cup. 